Um, so hello, I'm Jimmy. I'm a developer at Wikibay Solutions, and I'm very excited to talk with you today, uh, mainly because it's my first time ever speaking on a MediaWiki user and developer conference. Um, and I'm just very thrilled to speak to the elite users and developers of MediaWiki. So today I would like to talk with you about the category manager and Wikisher screen up enhancements we are creating for our customer this year because the customer has a very common issue. He has a very large wiki with a lot of pages, a lot of categories, uh, but no good structure in these. So the categories don't have any good hierarchy and uh, pages, a lot of pages are uncategorized. This is a problem we wanted to solve. And that's why we created the category manager and Wikisource cleanup page. And we, are, we were able to create this using the OpenCSP platform and leveraging the possibilities of um, yeah, the structured data and the possibility to uh, set properties and categories using the templates. So it's a great way to show the capabilities of OpenCSP actually. So let's start with the category manager. It has two main features. You can conveniently display categories as you can see on the top left corner. I hope it's not too small for you, um, but you can see the categories in a folder like or tree like structure where um, if you have subcategories, it would create a folder and you can unfold to unveil all the subcategories and you can also search and select categories. Then you can also use the category manager to manage your categories, uh, shocker. <laughs> um, you can think about creating, um, renaming, moving or deleting categories. So that's actually very useful to, um, to get a grip on all the messy categories you have on a large wiki. Uh, you can uh, create a good overview and you can create hierarchy in your categories. So, um, yeah, so it would save a lot of time for yourself, but also for your fellow Wiki users, so they can just grasp an idea of what information you are, uh, yeah, you have on the Wiki. So I already told you this, but it's uh, made using uh, or leveraging the possibilities of CSP platform. Those of you still unfamiliar with CSP, maybe rewind a bit back to the afternoon while um, Rachelo did a presentation on OpenCSP. And you can also check openCSP.org um, if you still want more information. So over here, I have a quick screenshot of the category manager and then um, specifically the, the overview we create. Over here, we put it in the left uh, sidebar, um, demonstrating how you can easily use, uh, display it on, on the sidebar or on a page so that every user can very easily search pages, uh, search categories, and just find the information they are looking for. Let's zoom on, let's zoom in on it a bit. Um, you can see if I hover over business functions, I get a pop-up um, where if I would press view category, I can visit the category page. And on the category page, I can view all the pages that are categorized as business functions. If you look closely, you can see a small number at the end of the category name, and that would actually indicate how much pages are inside that category. So this can be very useful to quickly determine how large a specific category is, or in the case of a use case, for example, if it only has one page. You can also use the search function to quickly search through the categories. And to add to that, it wouldn't be an issue to uh, search any subcategories. So as you can see, soccer is a subcategory of Charlie's Life Basics. And uh, you can see it conveniently unfolded to unveil the category soccer. So you can just easily um, view and go, go edit the category or view pages in that category. And this is the category manager itself. On the left hand side, you can view the overview that we just discussed, but we can see some new things. You have a create new button to create a new category. And uh, if you can, yeah, you can see it highlighted. I have selected rugby here. And then on the right hand side, I can see some quick statistics of the category. I can see that it has several subcategories and two pages. This is useful information if you're going to move a certain category or rename it. 
then you instantly know how much pages um, you how much pages will be affected. And also, if you would move, rename, or delete it, you would know um, what will happen. So you have those options as well. And what's important to mention here is that you can select multiple categories on the left hand side. So you can use Control Shift or whatever uh, uh, button you have on your own machine to do this, but you can select multiple categories and move them all into another category. This can be particularly useful um, because you, you may have a wiki with a lot of categories, but maybe a lot of categories are very similar. And in that, in that case, you can move them all into one bigger category and um, yeah, kind of make them subcategories. Then lastly, I would like to talk with you about the cleanup page. This is something uh, we have created yeah. using um, Wikisearch and Flexform. And those of you unfamiliar with, with Wikisearch, it's a search tool we have created um, that has more functionality than the normal search. Um, you can have custom queries to manage what pages you want to pop up in the results. And you can also have custom search facets. Um, in this case, we have type, but you can uh, have endless possibilities with uh, custom search filters or facets um, to select pages. To add to that, you can have a custom template to view each result in. This is what I used here to create this page because I, I used or uh, utilized Flexform in this uh, specific template to change the pages. And Flexform is an alternative extension to Pageform. Uh, which makes it very easy to edit pages um, and even more easy to edit pages that are on an open CSP wiki. And the result of, these, uh, of this com combination is that we can uh, head to the top of the page and we can choose a property to change. So we can change every semantic media wiki property. We can even change the category or even the class and then fill in a, a new value and set it. After we have set it, we can either add, replace, or remove the value. Um, so in the end, a good use case would be, is, uh, would be is to create a very narrow selection of the pages you want using uh, and leveraging Wikisearch. And then you can give all of these categories of, or all of these pages a category or give all of these pages a keyword. Uh, maybe you would be able to um, search for pages that contain the word fruit, and then you would be able to assign the keyword fruit to all those pages. So in this way, you can get a very good uh, overview of all the pages you have on the wiki. And using the category manager, you can get uh, yeah, with a lot of pages. This was my lightning talk. I think it was very quick. So um, yeah, I hope uh, I hope it was clear and you enjoyed. And if you have any questions, uh, let me know. Thank you very much. Questions? No? Then thank you very much, Jimmy. I'm going to have a word with Eric Jan why he, why he didn't bring you to Vienna, but that's that's going to be <laughs> your tonight. Great. Yeah. And I think, um, like what Charlie said, it, uh, if you don't have any questions, it must be a good presentation. So, yes. <laughs> <It's happy. laughs> Thank you.